हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोरेज एंड स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑफिशियल वैक्सीन राइट व्हाट मे बी द स्टोरेज कंडीशन हाउ टू मेंटेन द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर वैक्सीन थ्रू आउट द इट्स लाइफ फ्रॉम राइट फ्रॉम द मैन्युफैक्चरर टू द टिल इट इट इज गेटिंग एडमिनिस्टर टू द पर्टिकुलर पर्सन राइट सो हियर स्टोरेज एंड स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ वैक्सीन सो व्हाट इज स्टोरेज वैक्सीन नीड टू बी स्टोर्ड एट टू टू एट डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर In that temperature, they are going to maintain their stability, right? So stability means ability to retain its chemical, physical, and biological properties during the storage, right? So uh, there are certain guidelines uh, which we need to follow during the to maintain its storage and stability condition. With uh, the particular uh, team has to develop and maintain. Detailed written protocol, right? Written protocol that how much temperature we are supposed to maintain, where we have to keep, what kind of vibration, transportation, and uh, so on. On those points uh, has to be written, and there will be the protocol to maintain. Assign the responsibility to one person only, so that there should not be any confusion. The one person is going to be responsible that what has happened. Okay. Provide training on vaccine storage and handling. Those who are being assigned the, uh, the particular handling and transportation and uh, uh, the conduct of the vaccines, they have to be trained one, and uh, that training has to be provided to them so that they can uh, uh, involve into the handling of the particular vaccines. Coming to the vaccine shipment, so under the guidelines, uh, the first of all, whenever the shipment done, uh, we need to investigate or examine on arrival whenever the vaccine is arriving from one place to another place. uh we have to cross check it that like uh, expiration date when uh, when is the expiry date for the particular vaccine uh, what are, what are the contents are there whether they are in their uh, means safe condition or not then uh, shipping time when it has been uh, shipping has been done excessive heat or cold exposure has been done during the transportation or not that has to be checked properly right then uh, the inventory control or vaccine inventory log how to maintain what is the name of vaccine how many number has been there what is the date uh, what is the condition uh, when it is been, it has been received uh, then uh, what who is the manufacturer from where it has been uh, uh, manufactured uh, what is the expiry date all those has to be recorded or invented uh that record has to be maintained right so when we are storing those vaccines after arrival or from the manufacturer uh storage requirement there is certain storage requirement we need to follow that maintain required temperature range all the time right say for example 2 to 8 degree centigrade i told so that temperature uh throughout the year or throughout the it's uh, until it get administered to the particular person Uh, uh it has to be maintained the temperature range we need to maintain separate door for refrigerator and freezer has to be there right separate door like dorm style should be avoided should uh, it should not be uh, used right why because it is normal uh, types of uh, normal style or single what we are using in kitchen and like that uh, refrigerator we need to avoid right then uh, separate thermometers are supposed to be there for refrigerator and freezer uh, that has to be calibrated one or calibration has to be done it should work uh, with its full efficiency so that it can indicate the proper temperature what it is being maintained in the vaccine then check and record temperature twice a day that has to be there right two times so only morning if you are checking and evening you are not checking so what will happen in evening nobody knows right so that's what uh, two times in a day it has to be checked during the storage then install the temperature alarm that whenever the temperature it is fluctuating like below 1 or above 8 degree centigrade the alarm should indicate you that the something goes wrong right then a refrigerator for example in when we are using refrigerator you should maintain 2 to 8 degree centigrade freezer means uh, it should be minus 15 degree centigrade so this is the temperature we are supposed to maintain during the storage of vaccine so that it can ab able to maintain its stability in chemical physical and biological point of view right so that's what stability and the storage condition of the vaccine it is very very important since these are the uh, microorganism products biological products the living or dead microorganism we are using so that uh, if we are able to preserve them we, if you are able to store them in proper uh, condition with the by following the guidelines we can achieve the good immune response whenever it will be administered thank you